welcome to the video. In this video, we will be configuring Jenkins slave in EC2 instance. We will focus on configuring Jenkins, Jenkins slave in EC2 instance. We will be using SSH communication for that. And we are configuring this to improve performance and, and, and to distribute workloads. So we'll, uh, this video will guide you in step by step process how to configure Jenkins slave as it is EC2 instance. So we'll, we'll, we'll jump into that video. We'll, we'll, we'll create two instances. One, one, is, one, one is Jenkins Masters and another one is Jenkins Slave. Uh, so we'll add Jenkins Slave as, as a slave to master to run jobs. And we'll run, run one job also in Jenkins Slave. We'll, we'll jump into the creation of nodes now. Creation of, uh, we'll, uh, creation of instances now. So we'll return Terraform file for that. So this is the Terraform file which creates the, the two instances, Jenkins Master and Jenkins Slave. Rather than creating it manually, I've, I've written a Terraform file for this, for that. So it will create, I'll, I'll give repository also, GitHub repository for this file. You can create by yourself also. Let's create that. It would input, it would, it would output master public IP and play public IP. Once the public IP is, is a output, then we will install Jenkins on that master server. We don't need Jenkins to install a slave server. We need we need Java only Java on Jen, Jen, slave server, and we'll be doing it via SSH communication for a slave. Let's wait for it to be completed. Servers are created. So this servers are created. Two servers are created. Let's just log in into master server now. I have used T2 medium, not T2 micro. So, what if you if you, if you are if you are using if following this video and if you are, you are experimenting along with me, it will charge you some some little bit of amount. So be careful with that. Let's switch to. Let's try to install Java first. Let's try to update the packages and try, try to install Java. Try to install Java, sudo app install open JDK twenty one. We'll install twenty one J J R E Once it is installed, let's copy this Jenkins installation, this file, uh, following the documentation which is there, Jenkins installation documentation. This is the, this is the complete uh, commands to install Jenkins. Let's, let's copy it and paste it.
Let's take the IP and try to access it. We have the password. Will take some time. Till then, we will try to log into Slave and then try to install JDK in that Java in that. So, log into Slave machine now. Update the packages and then try to install Java in this slave machine. We only need Java. Let's take Java version. Hmm. Let's, in, let's set variables also now. Hmm. Yeah, this is the command. Hmm. Echo Java home. Yeah, so it, it is done in this. So we, we need to we need to generate SS key and <clears throat> create a directory in OPT. Would require this directory. Uh, so create another folder in this. KDIR. Let's change the permission for that folder. Yeah, so that's all we wanted to do on slave slave server. We need to generate SS key also. finish once it is ready so we need to go to manage Jenkins and go and add node go to node section and then add new node node name we can give as slave one slave underscore one and permanent permanent agent
home directory we need yeah so this is the directory we need Label we give slave. So this is not as much as possible. Yeah, we'll keep that. We'll launch a log. Uh, we'll launch agent in via SSH. Yeah, let's keep that. Let's give IP of that. Let's add credentials. For that, let's generate it. This is the command to generate SS key, SS key gen. It will be in dot SS folder. This pub key, public key. This public key you have to copy in authorized keys for, for the server to authenticate. Copy it in authorized key. Press shift and right arrow for it to for it, it will not, will not go, it will not come to end directly. So we have to press shift and press shift and right arrow. Once we copy it, we would require private key of, of the server. To create a copy correctly, no extra spaces. So require it here because we will we'll, we'll be requiring, requiring it here. So we have generated in root and password. No. SS uh, chosen name as SSH key private key. So ID would be SSH, description would be SSH, username would be root, and enter key directly. Nothing, we don't need to add anything, just, just like that. SSH, SSH root, and then we have to add it. It has shown, so it has copied that. Uh, host key verification, none you have to keep, no verifying. Once it is done, we have to launch as agent. Which is authentication failed, let's check why. We'll come back, so it is connected now. Now our SS key was incorrect, so I regenerated SS, SS key and try to try to do it now again. Try to copy uh, public key in authorized keys. It was able to run now. So yeah. So our slave is connected now. So let's run let's run some, run some jobs in the slave. Yeah. So let's do that. Let's. Let's create a job in uh, in let's create a job and run, run it on slave one or slave. I'll rename, rename the machine as slave. Mm, by freestyle freestyle will do Jenkins. I'm giving a label I label as slave one. So this is the label which I have specified in uh, specified in uh, like while creating while creating them uh, while attaching the slave as slave. I've given this label right. So I'm, I'm adding this label. Let's try to run this again. Let's try to run this and see if it runs on slave one. Oh, 
okay i have given slave slave as uh, slave not slave one given it as slave so let's see how we can resolve this issue adding this label as slave one uh, so we've changed the label now let's see let, let's see and let's run and see if it is running on slave slave machine it is not running so let's see shell kamal not not executed so let's see rather than running as a job we can run it as pipeline so sorry we can run as pipeline let's create pipeline Let's try to build it now. This building. You need to see it is it is building on slave or like on Jenkins machine. It built on slave slave right so running on slave. We have configured slave so it is building building on slave. So we are able to build we are able to add slave and then build it on slave. So so that's how we are able to connect a uh, slave machine to Jenkins master. And this is how this is distributed Jenkins run. So, so that's all. That's all overall about about the video. So you you can you can also configure by yourself. So after the after the experimentation is done, we can delete the machines. I'll give the GitHub repository in the description. You can follow the description and you can get the GitHub repository there. Uh, you'll get all the information there. So I've, I've I've given the Jenkins file as well. This is the Jenkins file I was running. So I've, I'll give this also. You can do along along with the video, along with watching the video. So I'll delete, delete the delete the instances now. He's running on sleep. Mm -hmm, yeah. This is how we configure Jenkins master slave architecture. Like this is how we follow uh, to get to, to add slaves to Jenkins master. So, so you can also add it. We can have, we can add multiple slaves also. We can add quality spots as slave. We'll add it in our next video. We'll try. I'll try to add. I'll try to create a video on how to add quality spots as Jenkins slaves. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that in next video. This, but this video we were able to we were able to add slave as it is easy, easy to instance. But in the next video, I'll try to add uh, Jenkins pod, the Kubernetes pod as Jenkins slave. I'll try to make a video on that. So it is destroyed from my end. So you also, after after completion of the experimentation, after completion of the lab, you can delete. You can also delete by yourself. Like you can also, you can also follow the same uh, same Terraform code which I which I'm providing in description. You can create the instances and you can delete the instances as, as per your need. So that's all about the video. If you if you if you like the video, please subscribe to the channel. And if you like and if you if you feel if anything is valuable here, you can share it with your friends as well. Thank you. Thank you for watching.